Hi everyone! This is Shana TV! So we are here to film our cozy Q&A today. We got a lot of really good questions from you all. We can't answer all of them today because we got a lot of questions and some of them required a little more thought than we're capable of today. So we're gonna save some of the questions for the future or you can ask us during our live streams which are on Twitch. So join us for those. Link in description. Did you make any new holiday traditions after you got married? The one I can think of off the top of my head is our tradition of eating Korean fried chicken around Christmas time because eating KFC is a tradition in Japan for Christmas, but we don't love KFC and I don't love chicken. Sean gets mad at me when I say that. But Sean loves um, Korean fried chicken and I prefer that too. So that's kind of our new tradition. Cool. Oh, and also if you look here, um, our wedding was close to Christmas. So we had everyone write little messages on these ornaments, these wooden ornaments. So that's our tradition, putting these up and reminiscing on our our wedding, yeah. which was the same day as Maddie's birthday. Yeah, yes. for me, I didn't really have tradition. My family, like we, we celebrated Christmas, but not like, you know, Christmas haul, <laughs> you know, in America. Um, well, like the big deal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We had a small tree. We had a little bit of gifts, but mostly from parents to children kind of thing. We didn't exchange gift really. Yeah, that's it. So I didn't have really traditions, but after I got married, Everything is new to me. Mm. Yeah. What is your favorite gift that you have received or given to each other? My favorite one is the happy birthday. Like, thanks for thanks for being born mm. video. It's not related to Christmas, but like for a gift. I think the reaction was pretty good. And then working with all friends and family, yeah. it was really fun. So if you yeah. haven't seen it yet, be sure to check oh yeah we'll put it which side is it this side that side <laughs> we'll put a card here um and link will be in the description as well my favorite gift that i've given sean which i think was also for your birthday i think it was probably like seven years ago i was like i don't know what to get sean so i'm just gonna print out tiny pictures mm -hmm. of everything he likes and make a ridiculous collage. It's like peeling off because it was just like glue and very low tech, but he has carried it Everywhere. through how many moves? We've moved like every year. Yeah. So like through seven moves, it's like peeling off and it's <laughs> usually the, one of the last things we pack because it's so fragile. Yeah. But it's a tea, 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 fragile. <laughs> no, it, it is fragile. It is very fragile. Um, but I just, I really liked that gift because it, it was so simple, but he really liked it. It's still on my wall. Yeah, it's still right yeah. there. So it was a lot of IU, a lot of bows. You. Me. Elsa. Mm. <laughs> you were into Elsa at the time. I would not to think to put her on there now, but yeah. How did you get started with your YouTube channel? I really want to try doing it as well, but it is daunting for an introvert like me. Mm. How, how did we get started? I've wanted to do a YouTube channel for ever since I saw YouTubers doing things, but it was very difficult for me because I didn't feel like I had anything worth saying, like putting out there in the world. But what really helped me was spite, like seeing people who I feel like aren't necessarily putting anything of quality into the world on their channels, but they're still doing it and having fun with it. And I was like, if they can do that, why do I have to stop myself from doing that? Um, so good for them, not my thing. I'm not gonna watch their content, but good for them for doing it. And yeah, I was like, well, I can do it too. Also, you don't have to reveal your face, especially these days there's like thing, anime tuber. Mm, the, yeah, 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 yeah. You like put a filter yeah, on. Yeah, filter so on. So cool. They're called VTubers. VTubers, so yeah. There are also a lot of like Korean and Japanese channels where it's just like aesthetic and they don't show their face. Yeah, yeah. And that I think is really nice too, so. One of Anna's favorite channels is uh, Hami Mami. It's a vlog like doing her things at house and raising kids. And she doesn't show her face. Yeah, she doesn't show her face at all. Yeah. Sometimes maybe, but 
Yeah. Yeah. If if you put out a video, no matter what it is, there's gonna be a viewers. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be someone who would want to watch your content. That helped me. Mm. Continuing this. Yes. And now you all are here watching this video. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what language instinctively comes out when you stub your toe on furniture? And what do you say? Oh. Uh, what language is that? Uh, it's Korean. Okay. <laughs> I say ita for anything that hurts. Ita is so easy. Ita when you touch something really hot. Atsuko. Atsu. So yeah. Korean for me. Yep. Japanese for me. When a when a cold breeze hits your face. Chuang. Ke chuang. We like the cold, so Sean gets happy for sure. I if it's too cold, I would still say ita. I was still really shocked the first time I experienced real cold was when I was studying abroad in Korea and I was with my Korean friends and I was like, "Why does the air hurt? How is this possible? I had never felt that this before." California like the girl. <laughs> the like needle feeling. Yeah. It's like so. paper just going through yeah. your face. Yeah. So, I would still say itai. But these days when I'm especially when I'm with Anna, I say sam Mm, which is Japanese. Yeah. Um, when you eat something delicious. I don't say anything. I just go like. Yeah. yeah. Or, no, no, or no. I he go was like, like this. I'm like. No. <laughs> I have to stop everything. Like I have to stop every sense of me except the the sense of taste. Taste. I see. Yeah. Um, when I eat something delicious, I dance. Yeah. <laughs> and I go like. <laughs> and then when you're hungry, pelpa. Basically, whatever is shortest in our three languages is usually what we go to. Mm. Also, pegopa comes with uh, DK's pegopa monster. Pegopa, so. yeah, we do that all the time. Pegopa. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Do you dream in Korean or English? I or Japanese. Have always said this. I don't think anyone dreams in specific languages. Like, I can't think back on any dream and be like. That one was in this language, or that part was in this language, because our thoughts are not that clear. And also, I realized everyone's different. Some people do think in specific words, but I, I think I think more in concepts. So that's how my dreams are too. Language is just how you express things in different ways. Mm. I think. So in dreams, if you think about it, I don't have conversation with people. I think. Mm -mm. You know, like so it doesn't necessarily stick in one language, but I can't remember what language I'm speaking. Mm. Yeah, it's just interaction with people and right. things. It's concepts. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. So both of us. Yeah. But I don't think that's if... the norm for everyone. Yeah. yeah Everyone's yeah. different. Yeah. So. Where do you want to travel to next year? I do want to try UAE because we have someone important there. <laughs> now. More European countries, mm. not just. England. Which one? Italy. Mm, I am going to be in Japan next year for a while, and I am so excited. Like, not just about going on a trip, but like just deeply excited to like really reconnect with Japan because I feel like I've been kind of disconnected from my own background for a while. So that's what I'm excited for. I also want to visit. Yeah, Italy, UAE, Washington DC. DC. Yeah, this obviously we can't do all this next year, yeah, but yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, the Philippines would be cool. Indonesia, basically where tenas are. Yeah, tenas are everywhere. <laughs> do you guys have names in other languages like Sean's Korean name or Anna's Japanese name? So when I call Anna at home, I usually go like Anna, mm. Anna instead of Anna. Oh, I thought you were gonna share your name. Oh. You share my name. Okay. This is EXO's Osehun. <laughs> A lot of important people named Osehun. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, my name, um, my parents picked it so it would be multilingual. There are Annas of different varying pronunciations around the world. So I do not have an English name and a Japanese name. Just slightly different pronunciations. If you could choose, are there any traits or characteristics of each other that you would like to take? Don't say no. <laughs> <laughs> no is not the answer. I want to be more like detail oriented. Like anything she does, she has like more like 
focus on details and I look over things a lot of times like unless hmm. it's like professional job that I am paid good supposed money to yeah supposed to, to you know tackle that task I tend to look over things and then I miss some things mm. so that's the trait I want to learn more but it's it's very brain consuming for me maybe that's why I'm tired all the time maybe <laughs> I say this because I have tried and I cannot do this but um, I would like to be able to like Sean set very low expectations for everything. I tend to imagine how situations or projects or things are going to go without even realizing it. And then I get disappointed often, even if it's not a bad result, but just because it's different from what I had made up in my head. And Sean is always content because he has not made up that scenario in his head. It's, it's not about setting lower expectation, I guess. It's more about not setting any expectation. Yeah, see, I don't even have that concept. Yeah. So I really admire that. I think it's a, it's a valuable life skill. For Sean, what is one IU song that makes you cry? I don't really cry, but there's one song talking about getting old together. I think about it. Uh, it doesn't make me cry because like I get sad. But like, it's, it's a beautiful concept, I think. Like getting older and acknowledging that I will leave or you will leave. <laughs> yeah. Sean doesn't cry because I start bawling before the tears have even started in his eyes. So he, he doesn't have time. I don't, yeah, I don't have time to process. I think that's normal because when I'm alone watching like movies, dramas and stuff, I cry. I do cry. I've seen him cry once. That's why she never Twice. sees me crying. Because if we are watching something together or listen to something together, she starts crying like, you know, like waterfall. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So I don't have time to process that feeling. <laughs> I cry listening to every Ayu song, if you wanted to know, but no, they didn't even <laughs> ask me. <laughs> Not that one. Okay. For Anna, what made or makes you fall in love with Sean? I want to hear your love story. That's cute. If you want to hear the full story <laughs> of how we met, we'll add a card here. The main thing is just how accepting he is of everything and everyone it's really incredible like he doesn't get upset about people or situations like we've had a lot of frustrating like customer service phone calls recently and i'm at the door while he's on the phone like get more math <laughs> be mean <laughs> she's like <laughs> like because they they kind of really messed up but sean knows that that's not helpful for the situation or for anyone. And then at the end of the phone call, he's always like, thank you, I appreciate your help and stuff. And that's just like one example of his patience with people in general. And I don't know how you do it and it's impressive. Thank you. You're welcome. Because it sucks if you put yourself in that situation. Yeah, it does suck. It, it really sucks. But they sucks. did also mess up. It can happen to you too. So. That's yeah. That's my favorite thing that you say. Kuroshizu ichi. Yeah. Like it happens. It, that's a possibility. Just like everything that happens in life, he's like, meh. That makes sense. Yeah. So this is the last question. It is seventeen going seventeen debate night vibes. Oh, I I I I, I watched this. I. You saw it? I actually saw this question. Okay, okay, so. Would you rather cross every street in Aju Nice choreography? So it's like the jumping. Or approach every person you want to speak with in Manse choreography. Manse <laughs> Manse. Obviously, we know the dance very well. I would rather cross the street with Aju Nice choreography because I feel like I approach people more often than I cross streets. And I don't want to scare strangers. You have to be in the car, you have to do the do the thing. Do I have to jump? Drive. That's dangerous, <laughs> but I'll still do that because I can't take the social shame. Hey! <laughs> I can't do it. For me, if you're gonna be weird anyways, just be weird. So I would approach every person you want to speak with in Manse. Wow. For you. Okay. That means we have to learn it. Because we're both doing Hi, very Anna. different things. 
obviously we're not the choreographers or dancers. No. Anna is a dancer. So. Yeah, I'm trying. So that was our cozy Q&A for the end of this year. We hope you liked it. And if you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and hit like button down below. <laughs> down, down below. Down below. <laughs> okay. Make sure to subscribe. <laughs> and hit the like button. And hit like down below. Oh, I was so close. <laughs> If you liked our video, make sorry. <laughs> hit the button. <laughs> Why the can't button. I do it? <laughs> Don't hit the button. Hit the button. Like the button. Like button. button. <laughs> yeah. If you <laughs> <laughs> if you liked our video, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button down below. Thank you. Can you Wait, wait, wait. Bye, everyone. Bye.